What's up y'all? It's Andrew aka Life of a Little Raj back with another video and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Today we're going to be doing some coke. Ocola airplane model reviews. Yes, you heard that correctly. So these two models are part of my collection. These models I had before Airliners International. I figured I'd change up a little bit, change up the routine a little bit, do something else so these are part of my collection from before so without further ado let's share some coke together and get ready for takeoff cheers so we'll go ahead and start off with the first coca-cola model that i bought and added to my collection so here we have a mcdonald douglas md11 i'll start off with the box here so i'll bring the box up Move the model back a little bit for you guys to see. So here we have the box. And since this is already unboxed, I'll just kind of go over the box and we can go straight into the model. But this box is pretty simple. It just shows the McDonnell Douglas MD-11. Then we have the CGI picture of the plane printed on the box. Then we have the Coca-Cola logo. And we have here on the bottom right side where it shows one to 400 scale model so if we look at the back it's just basically a bottle cap of the coca-cola bottles and the regular coca-cola so the main the main one basically since there's so many different flavors and such moving to the sides of the box so we can look at the top of the box here so it's very similar which is basically the cgi printed on the top the coca-cola logo and then made in china Moving to the left side of the box, we have the McDonnell Douglas MD-11 and then the Coca-Cola logo. Moving to the bottom here, we have a little bit slightly different information here. So we have the adult collectible model, contains small parts not suitable for children under eight years. And then we have the made in China. Looking at the right side of the box, it's basically the same as the left where we have the McDonnell Douglas MD-11. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive straight into the model. So starting here, we have a zoomed out view of the model. So I'll go ahead and zoom in. We can start at the front of the model. So let me grab my handy dandy pointer. So starting at the front, we have the cockpit windows and then we have the l1 door and then we have our cabin windows which go all the way to the back of the aircraft we have our landing gear here so here you can see since this is kind of just a generic model it's not supposed to be a specific registration it just says cc at on the nose gear flap so cc is most likely stands for coca-cola obviously Moving along, we have a little paint scheme here. So we have the Coca-Cola logo, and you can see there's basically droplets of water kind of to, like, symbolize a nice and refreshing Coke can or bottle whenever you pull it out of its freezer or its cooler or an ice-cold bucket, basically, or it's nice and cold. So moving along, we got an interesting design here with the different stripes. And then moving to the wing here, we have one exit over the wing. And then looking at the rest of the wing here, we have our engine here. And then we have here the winglet sharklet looking at the edge of the, the wing. So moving along, there's not too much more detail really. Let me readjust the camera here. So we have our windows, and then here it shows the registration. So we got the U.S. flag, and then Charlie Charlie 88, or basically Coca-Cola 88. After the registration, we have one more exit door towards the back, and then on top of the fuselage here, you can see we have our third engine. Since it's an MD-11, we had got an extra engine at the back. So here. On the tail, if my camera will focus properly, we have basically it's what we saw in the box where we just said 
opened bottle cap basically you can kind of tell the bottle cap in this tail or like on the box in the picture it was kind of like bent so i guess it's supposed to like signify a bottle cap that's been opened for a coke that's going to be enjoyed so taking a look at the model from the back of the aircraft here you have a decent view so you can see the engine from the back the tail and the horizontal stabilizers so there is a decent amount of detail for the horizontal stabilizers the indentations are a little bit hard to see but you can kind of see the different colors for like all the different sections of the horizontal stabilizers now we can move on to the right side of the aircraft here so it's pretty much mirrored the same not too much extra detail here I don't see really too much difference you can kind of tell as we go along towards the front of the aircraft the red here is a slightly different color so it looks different in person compared to the camera the camera looks more orangey but on in person it's more like the entire plane is more red and different variations of of red so it probably looks orange since I have the red LED lights in the background but yeah uh, it's, it looks more like the true Coca-Cola color red in person so we can move to the front of the aircraft and you got to be careful with this this model because I did break it whenever I was moving uh, before I worked for the airport I worked for a coca-cola bottler so that's why I have this model and the other model that would be cool to add to my little office back when I worked for for that coca-cola bottler so looking at the top of the aircraft and the front it will focus on the front maybe there's nothing much really not too much detail it's just your standard cockpit windows and then it's a little bit hard to focus right now. The camera doesn't want to focus, but we have like the little droplets all over the fuselage of the aircraft, as well as reflections from the lights in my little studio I'm recording here. And so anyways, moving along to the top of the aircraft, you can see here we have the Wi-Fi box. So it's just painted on. There's nothing really too much detail here of like any antennas sticking out or anything but it is a fairly decent model uh i probably paid way too much on this i found it on ebay but yeah pretty much nothing much or not a lot of detail other than the painted on wi-fi box there is a different decent amount of detail on that engine and the tail but i think it's just like an empty little portion here you can't really see too much looking down that it just looks like a, a hole kind of empty so anyways moving on I'll show you guys what it looks like at the, the bottom but before we do that I'll show you the wings I didn't cover the details of the wings too much so this one is interesting because like the different portions are like different colors at first I thought I spilled something on it and it like stained the wings or, or some sort of liquid but I think it's just the way this model came but there is very good like detail I guess or like decent detail you can tell all the indentations for the different parts and sections of the wing so I'll flip it over now to the bottom of the aircraft here so not too much detail here it's just painted red at the bottom so you got your landing gears here so interesting enough I kind of broke the model like I mentioned earlier one of the gears broke whenever I was moving so I had to kind of like glue it back so it doesn't look that perfect but at least it's holding together so that's good enough for for me I just gotta be extra careful not drop it or damage it I guess or move it too aggressively set it down too aggressively on the on the ground or something like that but yeah, I guess that's all. There's some marks I didn't notice before up here. 
So I don't know if that's, I think it's supposed to be part of the aircraft or part of the, the mold. I didn't create those dents, so I don't know. I think that's part of the mold. So anyways, with that being said, I'll let you guys have a decent look at the model. So we can start with the left side of the aircraft here. Then you guys can look at the aft of the aircraft or in the back of the aircraft. And then here we have the right side of the aircraft. And then we have it from the the front of the aircraft. So with that being said, we'll let this plane depart to its destination and we'll bring our football game on as our next model will make an appearance. So here we have the box for the second model. So here you can see here this box is Details slightly different. There's no picture of the actual aircraft here, but we got a picture of the World Cup here. So go to go in more detail here. Basically, it just says FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour. And we have this design here and then the FIFA World Cup. Looking at the back of the aircraft here. So it mentions FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour again with the design all over the box in different areas. Here it has the choking hazard. And different languages so here you can see in English and there's other languages as well so it says made in China at the bottom right of the box and looking at the sides is basically the design and then here scale 1 to 200 Douglas DC 932 Fifa World Cup Trophy Tour and then more design there and then down here it says realistic die cast, collectible model, authentic liveries, highly detailed, excellent quality. So this model does not have a name of a the whoever produced this or made this model. So I'm assuming it's Blue Box. Whenever I bought it off of eBay, the the name on eBay said Blue Box Collectible, if I remember correctly. So next up we have our next aircraft. So this aircraft is slightly different since it has, well it does have a lot of differences. So to start off with the first difference, this model is a 1 to 200 scale model while the previous model was a 1 to 400 scale. Next up on differences is this is more of a realistic model kind of represents, of a, represents a real plane. As you guys can see this is the FIFA World Cup trophy tour of planes. So this one was from a couple World Cups ago. It wasn't the most recent one. I know the most recent one was an Airbus. But anyways, moving into this model, like I said, get your game ready. We got a football game, football World Cup to enjoy. So we'll start with this review of this model here. So I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So we got decent detail here. So you got the cockpit windows and basically you can see how the window is you got your additional eyebrow windows type here as well so I'm gonna move the model so we can see it better and so me trying to move the camera too much but you can see the landing gear the nose gear there and you got golf alpha Juliet on the nose flap or nose gear flap and then moving along further back, we got great details. So we have our L1 door, and behind the L1 door, we have the World Cup trophy. And then we have a bunch of decoration here, so it's hard to see with the reflection of the lights and the cameras, but just an interesting design here. I don't know what it stands for or symbolizes, but it does look pretty cool. Moving along, we have the cock, or not the cockpit, but the cabin windows that go along all the way to the back. And above the cabin windows, you can see here where it says FIFA 
World Cup trophy tour. So basically, this plane will fly all over the world and bring the trophy with it wherever it goes so people can go and take a look and visit and take pictures with the trophy. I know with this most recent one, it came to Dallas recently, especially whenever I worked there, but I had no interest in or it wasn't really worth my time paying money to go and see the trophy. So I didn't get, I didn't go and see it. But if you were a soccer fan and you were in Dallas, it was a good chance for you to go and see it. So if you missed out, then hopefully next time. So anyways, back to the model here. So uh, like I mentioned, FIFA World Cup Trophy Tour by Coca-Cola. We got additional detail here on the towards the bottom of the aircraft here. The camera doesn't want to focus today. It never wants to focus. I don't know what it's doing here. Anyways, and there's a logo down there. I'm not sure what the logo is. I tried to bring it closer for you guys to see it, but the camera is being finicky. I think it's this iPhone technology where it wants to switch between cameras to get the best view. So it's struggling a little bit. But anyways, moving towards the wings here. So on the wings, there is decent detail. Um, the It's not clear where you can see exactly from far away, like the indentations of all the different parts, but there is good visual. It's very easy to see like the arrows for the exits emergency exits off the wing and such so going back to the model here we have two exits on the wing and then moving towards the back of the model here we have the registration as well as the the fifa.com so the registration is basically zulu sierra golf alpha juliet and like i mentioned on the engines here you can see where it says fifa.com and then along the tail we have the world cup as well. So looking at the back of the aircraft, like I mentioned with the wings, the horizontal stabilizers are the same where there's decent detail. It's hard to see the indentations or the markings from far away. But it's still visible, so it's decent. It's not the worst, but it's also not like stands out there either. Moving to the right side, and so it's pretty much mirrored. And there's not too much detail to see here or visible from the eye. Nothing that I really notice that's significantly different on the right side of the aircraft. So looking at the top of the aircraft here, you got the cockpit windows and like I mentioned before, we got the eyebrows, the eyebrow windows on this aircraft and then looking at the rest of the roof, we have actual antennas that do stick out. So we do have one on the top there, but then there's not any other detail on the top aside from the general paint scheme and then a few details on the, and markings on the back. Looking at the bottom, it's kind of similar. Uh, we got one antenna here. We do have more detail at the bottom though. So like you got your detail here towards the back of the aircraft and there's some details here where you can see the markings where like the gears were supposed to go if they were in a gear down configuration. On this model, the gears don't move. They're just kind of stuck in place here. It's not like they're magnetic or anything like that where you can switch it to a gear up type position. Also, this model didn't come with a stand, which is kind of disappointing for the amount of money I paid for this model. I feel like I could have gotten worth more but it's a rare model. I only saw one on eBay and I waited for a price reduction and I got it. So I did save some money. 
moving along to the front section, here we have our nose gear. There's not too much detail in front of the nose gear or beyond the nose gear. So that's mostly it for this this aircraft. There is decent detail on the under part of the wings, but like I mentioned, you have to look very closely in order to see that detail. With that being said, I'd like to show you guys the view from all angles now. So here we have it from the left side. And we have it from the rear. From the right side. And then from the front. And with that being said, I'd like to wrap up this video. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. We're almost to 100 subscribers, so I thank you guys so much for it. Before we go, I'd like to remind you to share a Coke with someone. And I mean the good Coke not the bad coke or let me be more clear share a coca-cola with someone so make sure to share a coca-cola with either a friend family member or someone super special to you and don't forget to spread happiness and with that being said i'll see you guys in the next one bye